Right, so basically this video shows you how to format your external hard drive partition and select one of the partitions um, for a time machine backup. You can get the utility dialog screen by hitting the launch pad button at the bottom of the screen or at the top right hand corner of your screen by clicking on the spot searchlight button which is like a tiny microscope. From here, click on the erase button but make sure that what is highlighted is your external hard drive and no other drives on your computer. So it's been successfully formatted or erased, so we're going to proceed to partitioning. Click the spot searchlight button at the top right hand corner of the screen or hit the launchpad button at the bottom left of the screen and type in disk utility or utility. Um, so basically this video shows you how to um, partition your external hard drive after successfully um, having formatted your external hard drive. So I'm um, just going to show you a quick process, the quick process of how to partition um, your external hard drive into three partitions. So firstly, we start off by clicking partition and the aim is to split, you know, the whole of the external hard drive into three partitions. Um, the storage size of this external hard drive is one tetrabyte, which is about a thousand um, gigabytes worth of storage. So we're going to split into three. Uh, first, we hit the plus button, which is sat flush to at the bottom of the circumference of the, of the circle. We hit that so we can split the the storage capacity into three segments that gives us 333 um, gigabytes per segment which makes up one tetrabyte or 1000 gigabytes worth of storage first is gonna you know give us 333 gigabytes per segment but what what we want is 500 gigabytes allocated for the time machine um, 250 gigabytes allocated for Windows um, um, format and 250 gigabytes allocated for um, Mac you know so we're going to rename each of the petitions, um, you know, with, you know, with Time Machine, Windows and Mac and select the appropriate um, format type. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure that the size for each segment is correct. So I'll be done with that in a minute. So one of the petitions would be um, a Mac. The format type would be Mac OS Extended Journal. Um, the size would be 250 gigabytes. Um, it would be a read write Mac petition. The other petition would be for Windows. And for Windows, you can either choose the um, XFAT or the MS-DOS FAT32. The XFAT essentially is for files um, greater than four gigabytes. Um, and the MS-DOS FAT is for files that are less than, you know, four um, gigabytes. So it depends on, you know, what you want to use it for. But, you know, this is a read-write Windows um, storage and the size would be 250 gigabytes. And thirdly, it would be the Time Machine Petition. The Time Machine uh, would be 500 gigabytes worth of storage. Um, and the format type would be the Mac OS Extended Journal. So predominantly, um, like I said, XFAT enables um, your um, storage or your petition to read um, for Windows and for Mac. Um, if it's the Mac OS Extended Journal, that's just pretty much peculiar for Mac only. And the MS-DOS MFAT32, like I said previously, um, is for files below um, 4 gigabytes of data. So once that's all done and click apply and click and petition and but just to re reiterate um, if you want your drive to read for Windows and for Mac the preferred choice would be XFAT. I only chose um, MS-DOS FAT32 um, because it's bespoke to my transfer size um, requirements. So feel free to choose the transfer size or the um, formatting type that you know that's um, applicable to, to your situation wouldn't be long um, all the storage segments um, should soon petition successfully um, it's just a waiting game from from here on um, so essentially just plodding along until it finishes petitioning the petitioned hard drives um, should appear and below the top level hierarchy or the top overall arching hierarchical WD elements description And there we go. It's successfully petitioned um, external hard drive. And we've got three petitions, one for Mac, one for the Time Machine Backup and one for Windows.
And remember, for Windows or PC, the preferred option is XFAT or NTFS. So we're going to go ahead and select one of the successfully petitioned drives um, for the Time Machine backup. In this case, that would be the Time Machine petitioned hard drive that's, that's got the capacity for 500 gigabytes worth of um, storage. So we click on System Preferences, click on Time Machine and select Disk, which is the Time Machine Petition. Um, click Replace and that should start backing up all the files on our Mac computer to this um, petitioned um, disk. And as you can see, um, the backup of the files on the computer to the Time Machine petitioned um, drive has commenced and that's kicked off. It should take you know a couple of minutes and depending on the amount the, you know the size of the files that you've got on your computer um, but hopefully um, this should um, successfully back up And um, here we go. Um, it appears to have successfully um, backed up. Um, the backup is complete. To avoid corrupt corrupting any of the um, petitioned um, drives, uh, make sure that um, you successfully um, eject all of the petition petitioned um, drives um, at the same time or one after the other. And you know, you, just to make sure, just to ensure that your backup is complete, you can always click on the folder to check the progress if it's finished or if it still has more time to go. And um, if you found the information in this video useful, um, give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe so that you'd be the first to get um, um, you know, more useful um, incoming videos um, as soon as you know um, they're made available. Um, take care and thank you for listening. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye for now. Bye.